Hello and welcome back. So we are here today to show you how to get the Legion Revenant class, which is from Join Revenant. So it's a new class that has been added in, and yes, it does require quite a lot of farming. So I'm going to show you where you need to go and how you can get all of the items. So you do need a Dark Caster class to access the area and rank 10 evil to even start the quest. Now they're all locked for me, but that's fine because I just need to show you where to go to get all of these items. So we'll go by it quest by quest and we'll do the items in order as they appear in the list. Anyway, so we will literally start off at Join Revenant and you can go along, defeat the boss for the Aceus Empowered times 50. If you then just double back to the room you were previously in, you will see there are some Forgotten Souls which will drop you the Tethered Souls, but you do need 300 of them. You can then join along to the Shadow Realm. So at the Shadow Realm, you can basically defeat any monster here and they will give you the Darkened Essences that you require, times by 500. Join Necro Dungeon, defeat the big five-headed Dracolite, which will drop you the contracts that you require. Anyway, you can head back and turn that quest in. Make sure you keep the quest reward item because you will need these later on. Then you can come along to join Doom Vault and you can start on the cohort. So this is for the Grim Cohort and you can defeat any enemies in these rooms. Join Mummies, same thing again, this is for the Ancient Cohort. Any monster will do and that is the same for all these quests in this section. Come along to join Wrath for the Pirate Cohorts. Again, any monsters in this area that you fancy. Then you can come along to join Doom Haven. Now this one is for the Battalion Cohort. You do need 500 cohorts for each of these items. Then go to Join Brightfall where you'll be able to get your mirror cohorts. And then we can change map to Join Death Pits where here you'll be able to get your Dark Blood cohorts. Anyway, so next up come along to Join Maxius. There are some rooms of four enemies here, well five in fact, which will give you the Vampire cohorts. Again, any enemies that you can defeat, they will drop you the items. Join Curse Shore will be the location for the Spirit cohorts. Nice amount of enemies here as well. Then you can come along to join a dragon bone. Here you'll be able to get your dragon cohorts, believe it or not. And then we just have one last one to get probably the easiest one at join Doomwood, which of course would be the Doomwood cohorts. Just head into the room where they just keep on spawning, I would if I were you. Anyway, so again, that is your next quest complete. Make sure you save the item down the bottom. Whatever you do, do not press no on it. Anyway, so for the third quest, what we're going to want to do here, you just need to head along to any Legion shop which Dage has given you basically. And in the Legion shop, in the helm section, you will find the hooded Legion cow that you need for 500,000 gold. Please do bear in mind, you will need 4,000 Legion tokens as well. Come along to join Evil War Nil, where you'll be able to get some of Dage's favours. You only need 300 of these, so considering all the other items, that one's pretty straightforward. Then you can join a Shadow Blast. You will need to be up to a certain stage in the quest here. And once you are, you'll be able to get the Emblem of Dage, which is a quest reward here. And same thing again, go back to Gresk. Go on his quest and the quest right down the bottom was the one for the Diamond Token of Dage times by 30. You'll need to do that 10 times in total. So enjoy. You can then come along to join Sephiric War Dage. Again, all of these quests here will drop you the dark tokens that you require. You will need 100 of these, so this one may take you a little while to do, but luckily you have got the turning options at the top. So once you've completed that quest, you're pretty much there. Well, I say you're pretty much there. For the final quest, you now need all the items you got from the previous three quests, and you need to stack them up. So you will need to farm the previous three quests a fair amount of time before you can get your Legion Revenant class, but once you have got the required items, you will be there. So good luck everyone in your farming. Some of them are easier than others. It should take you probably quite a few hours or a few days, but let me know down below as to how long it's taken you and how you're doing on your farming. Anyway, make sure you give the video a like and of course subscribe and I'll be back incredibly soon.